just the other person, okay? This top row represents you, challenge, benefit, outcome. So let's get started. Where are you, Aries? Where's your mindset? Where's your, where's your heart? Where's your feelings? We have the Knight of Cups here. So you're wanting, in your love life in general, you are wanting this week messages to come to you. Okay. You're really wanting someone to take the initiative, communicate with you, take some action, plan a date, plan a romantic getaway, something from your partner. You're wanting them to do some sort of initiation that will show you that uh, they care about you. Okay. Now, we have the Nine of Cups reversed next. And these aren't in any sort of time frame because we are only talking about a week a week-long period of time here. So these are just kind of overall energies through the week. We also have the Nine of Cups here. So this is the wish card reversed. Now, you're wanting initiation of love or messages or propositions. The wish card reversed is talking about the fact that you probably won't be getting it, at least not in the capacity that you generally like. So it could be, for example, and I see some reasons down here about why you're not getting them. But Aries and fire signs like very directed action. And so if there's kind of mixed messages, they can kind of see it as some sort of negative signal or negative sign, or it causes confusion. And so either you're not getting the messages that you, you're not getting the messages or you're not getting them in the fashion that you like or something that's clear to you. So in essence, you're kind of, your wishes aren't really coming true uh, in, that, uh, in that aspect. Now, another way to look at this card is the Nine of Cups is the Bachelor, is considered a, along with wish fulfillment, which is coming true. It's also the Bachelor, Bachelorette card. And so this also talks about not enjoying the pleasures of emotional fulfillment in terms of enjoying the single life. Okay, you're wanting to settle down. You're wanting one person or one specific person or your partner to come forward to talk to you or, or initiate love with you. Okay, you don't want a whole bunch of people. You're not looking to go out and play the field. That's not your mentality. That's not your mindset. You're kind of in this mindset, at least this week, of I'm like a one person, one relationship type of person. That's the other way to look at this card. We have the High Priestess here. And fire signs can be very intuitive. So this is talking about the need for or the fact that you are being very intuitive. Which is interesting because when we look at what's going on in your partner's life or your ex-partner's life or your love interest's life, you're going to have some sort of innate understanding of what's going on and potentially why these messages are not coming forward like you would like. So this is a really good energy to have this week. Then we have the Six of Swords reversed. reversed. So when the Six of Swords is reversed, it talks about the need to stay put. Your mind is already clear, so you don't, this isn't talking about the need for going on some sort of soul searching journey or, uh, you know, go up in the mountains or go across, uh, go like uh, to the beach for a vacation to clear your mind. Your mind's clear, okay? You think you're being patient, you're calm, you're not really too worried about things, even though. Even though you're not getting the message that you want, you have this innate intuition that tells you that your love life is going to be okay. It's fine. You're not really that worried about it. It will either come, you know, because of divine timing or you've already kind of started something with somebody or you know your partner's just going through X, Y, and Z. Okay, so you're not needing to go on sort of any sort of clearing out, de-stressing trip or you know take a hiatus where you don't spend time with friends or anybody on a weekend you just kind of stay at home 
you're just kind of staying put and relaxing and enjoying it and realizing that everything's okay. You're not really, you're really not that worried about it. Now your partner or love interest or ex, again, this can be ex, this is what's going on in their life with respect to you. Messages. Okay. And the fact that you're not getting them means they're thinking about it. Okay. The fact that you're wanting action you're thinking about wishing they would come forward. They're thinking about communicating. They don't, but they're thinking about it a lot. The Eight of Wands, it actually talks about, the, it, the Eight of Wands means swift communication. So it's almost like it's right on the tip of their tongue. All these things they want to say, it's right on the tip of their tongue. Now, why aren't they, you say? Okay, these cards kind of mirror each other. Why aren't they? Well, the Three of Pentacles. They're crazy busy with work. They really are. And when they say they're busy with work, and you're thinking, oh, that's just an excuse. This week, no, they're very busy with work. Three of Pentacles means busy, being busy at work, full focus, doing, putting in 110% at work because they're trying to essentially earn this validation or this respect or this um, uh, accolades at work. They're getting it. They're actually getting recognized. And it's because of the good work that they're doing, because of the extra hours, because of the additional projects, because of things being completed on time, because of being organized. Whatever the reason, they are focused on work. So what this really means to me, for you, Aries, this week is, you are on their mind. They are on your mind. So there's just this disconnect because of everything that's going on in their life. Now, you also, again, back to this intuition. Two of Pentacles. They are juggling. They're juggling thoughts of you. They're juggling work. If you're thinking about an ex or something like that, yes, they're thinking about you, but they could also be, aside from work, they could also be juggling other partnerships because, you know, when you break up, you date other people. And so you're aware of this. You're kind of allowing it and not worrying about it. And if you're in a committed bond, you know that they're just juggling schedules and time frames and things like that because of work. If you're... Uh, kind of really feeling attached to someone or connected to someone karmically and there's been a breakup or something, you're aware that, yeah, they're probably dating other people and maybe this is why, including work, you also know that you're on their mind and you're just sitting back and saying it, it kind of is what it is and I want them to be happy and I hope we communicate. I really do, but... I have to take this uh, higher level of thinking and understand that there's other things work. There's other things at play here. And there's kind of this freeing aspect here. Okay, kind of letting the situation go, letting things work out organically and let that dynamic just work itself out. Even though ultimately you want action to come from them. You really do. Even though ultimately, whatever's going on in their life, they are thinking about communicating. Now, to mirror your Six of Swords, you're staying calm about everything, about your partner, about your love life, and they are going through a kind of really a crazy time. And this could be aspecting their relationship, their love life too, if they're in another relationship, if you're talking about an ex, okay, they're going to be having a, a tough time. There's tumultuous moments ahead. And this is where we have, you know, this first week, all we're leading right into this lunar eclipse, full moon lunar eclipse. So there's a, a lot of energy here. Your partner could easily be an earth sign, although I'm actually feeling like because of all these cups here and here and here, I'm feeling this is actually, you're probably dealing with a watery type of energy, but it doesn't have to be, all right? So, and again, with this tower card in their love life, 
you have this keen sense of awareness that this is or is going to be happening. And so instead of trying to control it or push it or communicate or get information about it, you're just allowing, you're allowing it because you're, you're kind of feeling like there's this connection here, even if it's with an ex, even if it's, it's somebody you just barely met, they're thinking about you, but they've got stuff going on in their life. Okay. Challenges the four of pentacles. And we can clearly see this. One person wants communication, one person's thinking about it, but it's not happening due to external factors. Okay. Someone's really holding in. Again, pentacles, saving money or in trying to increase money, that's another aspect, and we see this. They are working very hard. Challenge, benefit, seven of cups, reversed. What's very interesting about this card, being reversed is... Again, back to this intuition, back to these thoughts of messages. It's almost as if regardless of what's going on in both of your life, there's kind of this narrowing down that happens um, automatically without even, it's like you're not even talking, but there's this narrowing down that happens automatically. And the outcome is the king of cups. So again, back to this watery energy. So even if you're breaking up, you've broken up. Even if you're both moving on kind of separately with your life, there's still a very prominent figure in your, in your future, in your thoughts, in your wants, in your hopes, and potential, you know, in your life. There, there's going to be, uh, they're going to be in your future in some capacity. Okay? And again, this could very easily be your current partner. That you're allowing to go through these stressful times at work and trusting the communication will come. Very interesting reading areas because even though you're not getting your wishes fulfilled at all, there's this calming sense for whatever reason about your love life that everything really is going to be okay. It's like you're really putting trust and faith in the universe or in divine timing or in each other or in this connection, whatever it is. You're feeling very calm about it, which is surprising, Aries, because you don't normally be, you normally aren't calm, okay? 